You're all dark and twisty inside. Dark and twisty. I'm not happy and bubbly. I'm dark and cloudy. If I murdered someone, she's the person I'd call to help me drive the corpse across the living room floor. At Dark and Twisties, we know that some people don't particularly like the episodes containing banter. So for those who prefer a more serious retelling, we bring you Dark and Twisty Minis. The following may contain graphic content, so listener discretion is advised. On the morning of October 1st, 2003, 24-year-old Felipe Santos was driving to work with his two brothers when he was involved in a minor car accident. Thankfully, no one was hurt and the vehicle suffered minor damage. Deputy Stephen Calkins from the Collier County Sheriff's Department was a responding officer to this incident. Once Calkins was able to sort out the details of what had happened, he cited Felipe with reckless driving, along with driving without a license, and he was arrested at the scene. Camille Churchill, the driver of the vehicle that Felipe hit, stated that he and his brothers were cooperative and polite during his arrest but the responding officer seemed agitated about his lack of documentation. As soon as he was finished writing his report, Calkins advised Felipe's brothers that he would be booked and they could contact the jail for any further information. As Felipe is escorted to jail and his brothers head to work, they explain to their boss that he was arrested and that they need to contact the jail in order to bail him out. Felipe is escorted to jail and his brothers head to work and explain to their boss that he was arrested. After waiting a few hours to see if maybe Felipe would call or show up, his boss contacted the jail only to be informed that Felipe was never booked. Deputy Calkins was asked about the incident where he stated that he changed his mind about arresting him due to the fact that he was polite and cooperative during their encounter. Calkins states that shortly after they left the scene, he pulled into a nearby Circle K and let Felipe out to use the payphone so that way he could call for a ride, and that was the last time that he saw him. Two weeks later, and still no sign of Felipe, the Santos family filed a missing persons report along with a complaint against Calkins since he was the last person to see Felipe. Over a year later, a lawyer who was investigating Felipe's disappearance at the request of his family decided to search Deputy Stephen Calkins on the internet and found a letter written to the Naples Daily News titled, Has Anyone Seen My Son? Written by a desperate mother seeking information about her son Terrence's very similar disappearance involving Deputy Stephen Calkins. As of today, 24-year-old Felipe Santos is still missing. Detectives encourage anyone who may have information on his disappearance to contact the Collier County Sheriff's Office at 239-252-9300. The Crime Stoppers tip line at 1-800-780-TIPS. That's 1-800-780-8477. Or call the Q Center 24-hour tip line at 910 232 one six eight seven.